The annual I Have a Dream dinner hosted by the Crash Mentoring Program. This is a very good time and it goes to our youth. So make sure if you haven't bought your ticket yet, they're only $25 or four for $75. Get your ticket, help the youth of the Upper Kittitas County and come to I Have a Dream dinner where the food is awesome, the entertainment's great, and they have some raffle items too. Channel 40 will be there covering that event, so be sure not to miss it. And our own Joey Stone, hopefully will be MC in the party. Like last year. Yep. And if you do miss it on Channel 40, be sure to check out all of our topics that we cover as well as all of our footage on our website, ch40.tv. You can always check out the little summaries that we have or um, any top news like the body that was found last week. We're the first ones to post it on our website. Make sure to check out ch40.tv weekly or daily for all of our news updates. Yep. And let's get a little less serious right now and let's go to Wade's Wacky Joke. Oh, Wade's Wacky Joke. La, 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 Wade's la, la, la. wacky joke. <laughs> now that's funny. Hey Pete, I got a good joke for you this week. Hit me, Dwight. What did the pie say to the face? What? <laughs> oh, I'm good. La, 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 Wade's la, 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 la. wacky joke. <laughs> now that's funny. Thank you, Wade, for that wacky joke. And right now, if you're in front of a computer, go on to ch40.tv, send us your funniest joke, or, I don't know, lamest joke, and you can win two free movie tickets, two popcorns, two pops, ch40.tv. We just need a joke. Send it to us, and you win. Always giving out prizes every week. Always giving out prizes. And thank you to the Rosin Theater. Make sure to check your mouth. Last year, we brought it to you, and it's back this year. We have Kids News down at the Crash Mentoring Program. Nolan is down there instead of me this time, Nolan and Peter, and they're taking care of the kids. And they are showing them what we're about here at our uh, Channel 40 station. Yep, and we're getting some little news anchors, and let's check them out. Our new Crash Mentoring Program news anchors. Hi, I'm Tammy, and this is Channel 40 Junior News. And I'm Joey Stone, and we have some stories for you from last week, and here's Drake on the Webster's Dictionary. Hi, I'm Drake in the middle school library with the biggest book we have at the Webster is the new international dictionary. And it has 2,661 pages in it. Great story, Drake. Now let's move on to Millie with sports. Wildcat girls are doing really good in basketball, and they've been practicing a lot. So I have the Warriors. Go Warriors. Back to you guys. Thanks, Melly. And now here's Brooke with the weather. Today, it's going to be sunny all weekend. And it's going to be cold, though, too. So bundle up. Back to you guys. <laughs> Thanks, Brooke. And now here's Claudia on how to sharpen a pencil. This is a pencil and a sharpener, and this is how it works. Squeeze out, squeeze in. Hang on, sharpen. <laughs> Voila. Wow! Look at how sharp that is! Action. Thanks, Claudia Brooke. That really sharpened my day. Now here's Marissa and Peter on Marissa's amazing picture of a dolphin. Hi, I'm Peter O'Kane with Channel 40, and I'm here with Marissa at the Middle School Library, who just got a painting she did. What can you tell us about this painting? Well, this painting I actually did at the Crash Program called Painting with Kim. It's where Kim Avila comes in and she teaches you how to paint, and she provides all the painting and the canvases. And basically, I just decided to do it all from thinking of the teacher who kind of does the classes for the library, named Mrs. Sweet. And she loves dolphins, so I decided to give it to her and paint this painting for her. Well, this painting's really jumping off the canvas. Back to you guys. Thanks, Marissa. That was a beautiful painting. And here's another painting made by uh, Marissa, Claudia, and Hazel about Channel 40. We love Channel 40 this much. We love Channel 14. We love Channel 14. Woo! <laughs> yeah. Picture, guys. I love Channel 40 news, too. Done uh, our news episode to an end. I'm Joey. I'm Tammy. Junior reporter. Local news. Good night. Now who's for Brooke? <laughs> <laughs>
Thank you very much, Claudia and Joey. Yep, well, you know you see Joey all the time on Channel 40, but I just wanted to make sure to put him in the front of the camera to have all the other kids kind of experience his How atmosphere, easy it is. his aurora. He's got a real good knack to get in front of the camera. He does, and everybody has a good knack to get in front of the camera. All you have to do is put the camera in front of your face. First couple times are kind of iffy, but every single time after that, it'll get better and better. So and get, you, you can't be self-conscious about how ugly nope. you are. Thanks, Jeff. And make sure, just to get the camera out, get a story, send it our way, film your own news, and we'll get on Channel 40 or just at selected times. And we'd love to get your news on our news or your story on Channel 40. Now let's go to Warrior Sports. At the Warrior. Let's start off by going to January 7th, where we played the Zilla Leopards at Zilla's home turf. And how did we do? It didn't pay off for us. The boys lost a tremendous 62 to 12. 50 points? 50 points, putting them at a 3 and 7 record. Girls. At least they hit double digits. Yeah, girls followed in the footsteps with a 70 to 44 loss, and that puts them at 5 and 5. A little 50-50, though. Very unfortunate, bad. though. And this last January 10th, the boys and the girls played LaSalle down at LaSalle. And unfortunately, the boys lost 67-55. to And the girls lost 64-33. to Very unfortunate. Two games right there. Zilla and LaSalle, big losses. But this Saturday, they're going to be playing Goldendale. Hopefully, the boys and the girls can get a win right here because they need it. Girls. Need to get W. This at home. Too. At home, too. At Sorry. Home. So make sure, if you're watching this, get down there on Saturday at 6 o'clock and support the Varsity Boys and Varsity Girl Warriors because they need to get a win versus Goldendale. On January 5th, the wrestling hosted Granger and Zilla, and we have some footage of that. And talking about Warrior Wrestling, today, January 12th, they are playing Royal and Mapton. It's going to be a great wrestling match right there. And next week, we will have footage for you on Channel 40 Local News, or you can catch that match and the uh, match before the uh, Granger vs. Zilla at selected times on Channel 40. Yes, so be sure to check that out, and the best of luck to all our athletes out there. And that concludes... Not yet. And if you would like any of these DVDs of the basketball games, wrestling matches, or those Christmas concerts, give us a call $10, and they're yours. Give us a call 649-3940. Yes. And now that concludes... Warrior Dome Sports. Warrior Dome Sports. And now let's move on to Nancy Jones talking a little bit about our road closures on the Forest Service, which... I'm sure many of you guys out there are upset about because well, they're I'm... not cl well. They're closed right now, but they need to get repaired, and they're wondering what roads they should take to repair first. And here's Nancy Jones to let us know a little bit more about they want to what they want to achieve and how you can get your questions in by January 16th. What is going on with PO Point? Hi, my name is Nancy Jones. I'm the public affairs officer here at the Cleolum Ranger Station. For an update on the flood repair for our road damage from the 2011 floods. What we have scheduled for the summer of 2012 is to repair Forest Service Road 3350, the Peel Point Road, which leaves from West Side Road and goes up to Peel Point. The Manastash Road, Forest Service Road 3100, which was damaged and partially destroyed by the floods, will also be repaired next summer. And the 3120 Road, which connects the Nat Flats area with the Frost Meadows area, will also be repaired next summer. The Tatum Road System, Forest Service Road 3300, it remains passable, although it was damaged, is scheduled to be repaired in summer 2013. Thank you, Nancy Jones at the Ranger Station for letting Channel 40 and our viewers know about these road closures and road updates. Thank you. 
Yep, thank you. And if, again, if you want to get your comments in, get them to Nancy and the Ranger Station before January 16th. It's that time of year again, and Channel 40 loves covering it. Relay for Life registration kicked off this past week. Yep, it was at the Masonic Hall where you could sign up your team for $50 registration. And if you missed it, make sure to give us a call at 649-3940, and we'd love to hook you up the for the Relay for Life information with Marty Button, Kelly Clift, and everybody you need to know if you want to be a part of the Relay for Life 2012. A very big thing going on it up is. here in the Upper County. Yeah, it is to help fight cancer, and this is a very important thing right here. So be a part of the Relay for Life this year. Paint the Town Purple is going to be coming up, and then they have that run. And then they'll have garage sales and bake sales. So make sure, big thing right here, Relay for Life. And just a reminder to all our viewers out there that Inland Networks is now selling all the cable connection things Needs. that you need. HDMIs, composite, RCAs, everything you need for your technical hookups. Come check us out, Cleolum or Roslyn. We have the best prices in town for your cable hookups. As well as telephone. Oh yeah, can't forget telephone. Got those uh -huh. mo modems and uh, caller IDs. Yep, as well as internet. Yep. Also, December 1st through 31st, two months free if you sign up for a 12-month contract with our internet. This is high-speed internet. If you're an upgraded customer or you just want to get brand new internet service. You get two months free for a 12 month commitment. So we make sure to get into Inland Networks office, check out our internet speeds, and you will be delighted on what kind of service you have. But more importantly than anything, be sure to check us out at 7 a.m. and 7 p.m. daily. New news has come out on Thursday at 7 p.m. And new summaries always on Thursday. Check out ch40.tv. Let's close tonight's episode by wishing a couple people a happy birthday, starting out with... Christina McElroy, one of my high school buddies. Christina, happy birthday. Yes, Nicole Foote, happy birthday. Tony Davey, happy birthday. Chase Montgomery, happy birthday. Big Lauren Sadowski, the big Seahawks number one fan, happy birthday, Big Low. Oh, that's crazy. I don't know. How yep. old is he? I'm not sure. Oh, well then. Thank you for your autograph, Big Low. And congratulations to Laura O'Shaughnessy. Yep, happy Councilwoman birthday. Laura O'Shaughnessy. Lowell Skinner, happy birthday. Joey Wadikas, happy birthday. Jennifer Stuckey, happy birthday. And Travis Kretschmann. Can't forget Travis. Yep, All-State football player. Good job, Travis. And congratulations on your birthday. Hope you have a great one. This has been a couple local boys. Trying to shoot some local news for you January 12th, 2012, the second week of January. I hope you guys enjoyed. I'm Nolan Weiss. And I'm Jeff and Dorison. And uh, again, whenever you see us on the street, let us know how we're doing or uh, let Jeff know he can do better. We'll Have see a good you guys next week. Day, night, evening, whenever you see us. Uh, okay. With a horrible loss of 62 to 17. 15. 12. 12. 50 points. Okay. Very pat. <clears throat> thank you, Neil. Thank you, Miss. Thank you. Thank you, Mayor Lockett, for that report. Dude. It is. Sorry. I'm sorry, Connor. And not mean to throw you under the bus. Back to you guys. I forgot to dress who was this. Four seasons recreation. They told last night. Recreation. Recreation. Four season recreation. Recreation. Seventh, where the boys hosted the Zilla Ligers. Who? Leopards. Leopards. Ligers. Those don't even exist. Yeah, they do. They're real. Ligers are real. They really are real. His How atmosphere. easy it is. His aurora. He's got a real good knack to get in front of the camera. He does. And everybody has a good knack to get in front of the No dome. Let's kick it off. Warriors versus Zilla on June 7th. Boys lost. Or they won. They lost. No dome. 
Let's kick it off. Warriors versus Zilla on June 7th. Boys lost. Or they won. They lost. No dome. Let's kick it off. Warriors versus Zilla on June 7th. Boys lost. Or they won. They lost. 